Coming live from Bimbo Field, watching the Argonauts face the Alouettes. It's live from last week, episode 78. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. First off, last night, I want to throw a quick shout out to somebody that I haven't seen in quite a long time. I'm back to work. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Ronalyn. Going up. It was great to run into you last night, Ronalyn. And it's kind of funny how, whenever we run into each other, it always seems like we meet on an elevator. But yeah, after my night shift, and it being a pretty busy one, I had to treat myself out to some Krispy Kreme donuts and try to eat my stresses away. And during my shift, I was also feeling pretty stressed for the reason that last week when I shot this scene, and well, last night I was able to secure ourselves a row of Blue Jays tickets to Tuesday night's game. My tickets from StubHub weren't delivered to me on time. So I had the issue of trying to contact customer service earlier this morning instead of getting some post night shift sleep. Anyways, we're headed downtown, getting on the GO train. Well, I'll resume my story shortly. So now that we're back in downtown Toronto, I can continue on with my story with StubHub. Who, after not just a couple of minutes or even half an hour, but over 45 minutes on the phone after I was supposed to sleep post night shift, they had told me that I had to redeem my barcodes for my tickets today at the Blue Jays box office. So I'm just about to go redeem my tickets for the Blue Jays game tonight and go catch the game with some of my coworkers. So once again, I'd like to personally thank all my co-workers who joined me in watching the Blue Jays game earlier this evening. Allison, Catherine, Gajanya, Marlene, Adam, Robert, and Avanthia. I'm hoping that you guys have enjoyed yourselves tonight. And I can't wait for the next time we all get together outside of work once again. And on the topic of great things, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a birthday shout out to one of my elementary school and high school friends back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my old childhood friends, of whom I used to play soccer with back on the Keon Select team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dennis. Happy birthday, Dennis. Next up, I got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends, who I see on Facebook working out and cycling by the lakeshore. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria! And before we wrap it up for the night, last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my co-workers, with whom I used to mini carpool with when she lived back in downtown Toronto. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah! I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So pretty much all day today, I've been just pretty much staying in, editing and finishing up uploading the Live From Last Week video, episode 77. And as well, reminiscing about how last night, I was able to video record a couple of momentous occasions during last night's game, which included this Baltimore Orioles home run, Oh. 
as well as one of my favorite players, Gabby Moreno, and his first ever hit at the Rogers Center. And moving on, before I go in for one random night shift tonight, my fifth shift in seven days, we have a couple of quick birthday greetings for you guys out there. With the first greeting going to a friend at Wysick that I knew downtown ever since I started living there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eugene. Happy birthday, Eugene. And next, a birthday greeting to a university friend of whom I'm remembering I went clubbing with back when I was living downtown. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Grace. Happy birthday, Grace. I'm hoping that my friends out there that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This morning, after having the urge to use the washroom, just like Yoda here, I only got less than two hours of sleep after my shift. So I decided to get up and get ready and head to the Scarborough GO station, heading back downtown this afternoon and back to the Rogers Center today for my second game in three days and arrive early because today is actually a stadium giveaway day. Today they're giving out the Blue Blue Jays jerseys of Hinjin Ryu. So let's go try to line up in this long line over here and try to add a new jersey to the collection. And after waiting outside in line in the incredibly hot 30 degree weather with a 40 degree humidex, I have finally got the privilege of getting my hands on one of these. The Hyunjin Ryu Blue Jays Blue Replica Jersey. And of course, with it being so hot outside, I went to the closest fresh burger station and got a nice burger and chips. And now I'm at the WestJet flight deck with my cheeseburger, my Doritos chips, and my Palm Bay drink in hand. So yeah, I'm just waiting here until my coworkers show up before I meet up with them and take them out to the ball game. We got Sydney! Cheers, Sydney! Cheers! Woo! Round number two or three, cheers! Found her, Kennedy! Found Kennedy! Okay, one, two, three, cheers! Number five. <laughs> Cheers. So after a devastating loss with the Jays losing to the Orioles, we have spontaneously, all, how many of us? Four of us have spontaneously bought tickets to the Argos game at BMO Field. Woo! So going from let's go Blue Jays to let's go Argos. Woo! See you guys at BMO Field. Wow, after a crazy ending to that Argos football game and meeting these Argo fans in the foreground of my music video. Yo, so at the Argos game, I met these guys. I'm Adam, let's go! And yeah, let's go! Yeah. Alright man, what'd you guys think about the game? Awesome crazy. game, let's go! Argos. Crazy ending, man! A missed field goal by the Alouettes in the last second! So good! What, right? a, what a win for the boys! Woo! 1 and 0, baby! 1 and 0! 1 and 0! Yo, 
top of the East Division. East, East champs, two years in a row. Let's go. I am back home in Scarborough, wanting to thank both Adam and Matt for bringing atmosphere to the Argos game, as well as Justin and my coworkers Kennedy and Sydney for coming and joining me on short sleep post night shift in my doubleheader of the Jays game at the Rogers Center to walking all the way to BMO Field to watch the Argos play Canadian football earlier this evening. But yeah, as you guys can see from this video of me taking a quick nap at BMO Field while watching the Argos game, I'm thinking it's time for me to catch up on some sleep. But before we wrap it up for the evening, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my elementary slash high school friends back in the day. And this shout out goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And before I pass out, tonight I want to do a quick shout out to the 2022 NBA champions. Winning their fourth NBA championship in eight years, it's none other than Steph Curry and his Golden State Warriors. So congratulations to Golden State for winning the NBA championship this year. And I'm looking forward to that team defending that title at the start of the next NBA season. And so after a jam-packed day yesterday, in addition to watching those sporting games and eating and drinking lots all day, I needed to rehydrate my dehydrated self and also burn some calories today on the stationary bike. But moving on, and not getting a lot of sleep over the past couple of days, guess who was finally able to catch up on the best sleep that they've had in months? And also keeping up with the positive vibes, if you haven't heard, in 2026, the US, Canada, and Mexico are all hosting the World Cup. And news broke out yesterday that my hometown city, Toronto, will be one of the host cities for the 2026 World Cup. And I'm hoping, just maybe, on my wish list that year, I'll be able to secure myself a ticket or two to a game to the 2026 World Cup. And keeping the good news rolling before I go in for my night shift tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my high school friends who is one of the best defenders slash sweepers that I have ever seen in soccer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Fatori. Happy birthday, Aaron. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my Wysik friends who I'm always remembering going to Sal of King with you, Yvonne, and Big Joe. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andy. Happy birthday, Andy. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to one of my Filipino friends, of whom I miss hanging out with, going to home gatherings with, and partying in Cancun with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mariel. Happy birthday, Mariel. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that are celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, post night shift, after getting yet another, what, two to three hours of sleep, I'm walking around in Thompson Park in the middle of Scarborough, about to attend a birthday lunch for a family friend that we have. And speaking of birthdays, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a friend that I met at World Youth Day in 2011, of whom is also a fellow healthcare worker. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bernice. Happy birthday, Bernice. Next up, we have a birthday shout out to all my SMIOA friends, who I'm remembering partying with in Chicago over a decade ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bayal. Happy birthday, Bayal. We also have a birthday greeting to all my high school friends who I'm remembering was a standout athlete playing soccer, volleyball, and basketball back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dalton. Happy birthday, Chris. And last but not least, I actually have a belated birthday greeting to a friend of mine that I met a couple weeks ago, a fellow competitor at the birthday party at Activate, who is actually a coworker of my wife. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kim. Happy birthday, Kim. I'm hoping that everybody that's celebrating their birthdays, either belated or today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And while at the picnic earlier today... Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I ran into some family members that I haven't seen in such a long time, even since last summer. This is Gabby going in deep. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Good job, Gabby. 
I'm still taller. One, two, three. Such as my nephew featured in this scene here. Who is this guy? Gabriel. What's my name? Huh? Change. I can't no, complete stand, name. I can't. My complete name. Tito. Tito J J J. <laughs> okay, we'll run around later. Okay. A POV of me trying to get the football from my nephew. <laughs> One, two, three, hot, hot. Catch it! Yeah! Piggyback with Gabby. Oh, no. Ready? Oh, no. Let's go! Oh, no. And, uh, no, you have to hold on. You have to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm such a bad uncle. I'm such a bad uncle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I also got to see one of my nieces that I haven't seen in a while this afternoon. Hi, niece. No! And nephew. Oh my gosh. He just wants attention. He just wants attention. <laughs> and after wrapping it up at Thompson Park earlier today, I'm back at the condo to tell you guys about a couple of stories that happened yesterday. Recalling that Argos game that I attended a couple of days ago? Well, for everybody that had attended the game, they gave away a free coupon for a free pizza pizza slice to everybody to redeem yesterday. So I went to my local pizza pizza down near Victoria Park and Kingston and had no issues this time redeeming that free slice of pizza. And although I was happy about this transaction while commuting to work yesterday evening, I saw that across the street at the local Scarborough Music Store that this historic place of business that has been a staple in Scarborough will officially be closing up shop and closing their store doors for business. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks, before they actually close down, I'll be able to visit this place and show you guys around before they close for good. And before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, I just have a couple of confessions I have to make to you guys. The first one being on Wednesday when I was dropping off the wife at work, while trying to avoid some cars at the roundabout where she works, I kind of misjudged where the curb was. And unfortunately, as you guys can see in these videos, I made some scratches to the Mini's rims as well as to my brand new tires. Next, the second confession that I have to make is that just like I did earlier this week with a Krispy Kreme donut on Tuesday, I sat down at a curb right beside my motorcycle this morning and enjoyed yet another post-night shift Krispy Kreme donut. But I do have somebody to blame for me eating this donut, which would be this guy. It was my buddy Nej who straight up refused my offer to take that delicious Krispy Kreme donut that I was giving to him for a post night shift breakfast this morning. I'm just documenting the random time I'm running into this guy. <laughs> Michael Nash, the legend. I only hear about him in stories, but here he is in the flesh. You want a donut, man? Yeah, I'll take a donut. Okay, fine, here. <laughs> That's a nice donut. Oh, I feel better, you keep that. All right, he's allowing me to have my donut. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and my third and last confession of the day is that post night shift, I decided to tour around Toronto. And after hearing about this article that the wife had sent to me on Facebook Messenger a couple days back, I just had to go back to the scene of one of our wedding photos that we took on our wedding day and take a quick video of this place in the financial district where the CN Tower is iconically placed before this building that's being currently constructed covers our view of our iconic tower. But yeah, I think it's time I stop rambling on for today. Gotta go get ready for work and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. First of all today, I just wanted to wish all the fathers out there, soon to be fathers, fathers that have lost, as well as father figures out there, a happy Father's Day. Especially to this guy who last autumn came with me to enjoy my first ever 18 hole golf experience. And because he was sick at that time, he was like a warrior going through that course, only being able to play with one arm. So here's a quick throwback video to that one autumn day when I treated my dad out to that golf experience for a happy belated Father's Day gift. Guys, I just want to thank my dad for coming with me on my first 18 hole golf experience. How'd you, how'd you like it, dad? Oh. 
Very much. I like it very much. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Love you, Dad. Love you. All right. <laughs> <I hope it's> <laughs> Anyways, back to today. But this morning, I was feeling a little bit under the weather, feeling a bit of a sore and itchy throat. And when I let the wife know how I was feeling, she told me to try to rest up and do a COVID swab just in case. And after only getting about two hours of sleep post night shift, I broke out one of our COVID swab testing kits. But once I got my supplies and remembered how to do this excruciating, uncomfortable test, I looked back at my results and saw that once again, I tested negative. So I went back to doing what I usually do, sitting on the couch and watching some sporting events online and on TV, which includes one of my favorite races on the F1 calendar, the ever famous Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal on the historic Gilles Villeneuve race circuit, which fun fact, I've actually raced on doing a couple of triathlons in Montreal back in the day. And to continue on, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my high school friends back at HT. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Haley. Happy birthday, Haley. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And yeah, I also got a pretty busy evening up ahead because today my nephew Blueberry is celebrating his first communion. So it's time to get ready for his mass. Go to church, then with family, celebrate with him this big momentous occasion in his life. So, last night, after saying farewell to the first communion celebrant... Say hi! Bye, Jared! Mm. Look, say... Uh, oh. Happy communion day! Happy communion day, sweetie! <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell by my voice. I was still feeling under the weather. So when we got home to the condo, we relaxed and watched a yearly event that we try not to miss that's on TV. And as a fan of dogs, it was this show. The Westminster dog show. But continuing to let you guys know about how I'm feeling, today being the last day of spring, I woke up really early after about only four and a half hours of sleep just before 5 a.m. and made some ginger tea for myself to see if that would help me feel a little bit better. I was also able to locate the giveaway that we got at the Amsterdam Brewery yesterday evening which was this marvelous lunchbox that they were giving away while we were having our dinner for my nephew's first communion. Anyways, while being unable to sleep, I looked outside the window on one of the longest days of the year. I started editing some Laugh From Last Week footage while watching replays of the Westminster Dog Show in the background. And since I'm still under the weather, I think today will just be a rest day. But before we wrap it up for the week, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I graduated and went to university with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bethany. Happy birthday, Bethany. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my coworkers who I haven't seen in a while, but have done fundraising walks with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lisa Lynn. Happy birthday, Lisa. We also have a birthday greeting to one of my family friends who I partied with in Jamaica for Ray and Vita's wedding and who I played indoor volleyball with in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Rob. Happy birthday, Rob. Next up, we have a birthday shout out to one of my friends who sold my beloved inflatable kayak to me and who I take in those videos whenever I do take that kayak out. This birthday shout out goes out to you, James. Happy birthday, James. 
And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my co-workers who has a great sense of humor and who I can't wait to work with once again when she comes back from mat leave. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nat. Happy birthday, Nat. I'm hoping that all you guys that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's busy and jam-packed episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.